All right, today we're gonna to be doing some aluminum wire. My son cut it up into pieces. So we can stick it in the vise. I like to hit it with a little heat. Nothing crazy, just to get it warm. That plastic is real tough, especially on this aluminum wire. You can either run your knife down it, which doesn't really work that well, or you can just take your razor blade. Run it right down. Try to do it twice if you feel like it. it usually follows the groove. Still tough though, you know, tough plastic. This is, uh, I got a wire stripper, but it does not like to do the aluminum wire. It's just a pain in the butt. Most of the time I turn it in the insulated. I get about 30 to 35 cents a pound. But if you strip it, you'll get about at least double I get 75 cents a pound, so more than double. So, I guess it can be worth your time. Just depends on what your yard's paying. Just run that knife down there again. Follow that groove. Well, it's still a little warm, peel it off. Now, I tried it with this small wire. It didn't work too well. We can try it now just to show you. It's a little more flimsy. Probably need shorter pieces, but at that point, is it really worth cutting it up? Spending the time cutting it up? Probably not. Smaller stuff is really heat molded on there almost. It's uh, tough stuff for sure. Tough stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, with the smaller stuff, I'm just going to send it insulated. But for the big stuff, we're going to try to try to get it all. I try to get it where it's just sticking right above the vise grip. A little bit of heat. Mix it in. Yeah, I have one of the uh, Stripmeister strippers, and it'll do wire this size. It's just the stupid aluminum wire that it won't chew through. Copper wire this size, yeah, that'll do it. Make sure it's not hot. Yes, your hands are gonna get messy doing this, and it's kind of difficult to do with gloves on. So, don't get mad. I'm not wearing gloves. Get all the small stuff out of the way. Some of these pieces you're gonna have to bend in the shape. 
Use your vise for leverage. So yeah, you just gotta decide if it's worth your time. You wanna, you wanna more than double your money of what you're gonna get on this. Do you have a good enough wire stripper? You gotta take all these things into consideration. I'm just here to show you what I do and what you can do. You can, I always try something. If I don't know how efficient or how well it's gonna work, I always give it a shot. Time yourself, weigh your results, and see if it's worth your time. Some people it may be worth, some people it may not. It's just up to you. Don't let anyone else dictate what's worth your time. Let yourself decide. It's what I've always done. If you let it get cold, it starts to get rigid again. But this is some, you know, the reason they pay 75 cents on this when clean sheets were 50 cents. This stuff is pure aluminum. I guess it's a higher quality if they're paying that high. Of course. Even higher than clean sheet, which is what it is clean sheet aluminum It's tough. It ain't for the faint hearted. But again, got a new blade. It's a lot easier. I can't seem to locate my replacement blades. Mm -hmm. 
hard to do this with long pieces because the further out it goes from the vise, the less rigid it is. That's why I had my son help me cut these up. It always helps to have some help. Not going to be breaking any banks today, but you know, if you're a little slow on scrap, which I'm not, I'm just making this video just because I felt like it, but if you're low on scrap and you need something to, you know, improve your earnings just a bit, why not, you know, if it's a rainy day and this is all you got, might as well try. Once you do a few, you get a good rhythm going. It goes a little quicker. I got the torch set on a really low setting, so it's really not using that much. Fuel. Doesn't matter if you're using propane or map. Map gets hotter, so. You wouldn't have to heat it up nearly as much, but I'm not even doing much anyway. It's just a couple seconds of heat. Then you get out this nice, beautiful aluminum. That one didn't cut all the way. Let me try it with gloves and see if we can uh, have that tactile feel, which I think we're going to lose our tactile sense. I don't know if I can get the gloves on. This is what happens when I have gloves. Always keep an extra pair around. Because when you're working all the time with them, you're going to burn through them. Yeah, 
it's a little harder to get the peel started when you can't feel it. This is why I don't wear gloves too much. It is getting pretty dull. Come on. This one is not cooperating. There we go.
Of course, the last one is always trouble. Jeez. There we go. Let's throw this one back in there for a second. No, why don't we try to do this one? We'll give it a shot. A little bit of a funky shape to it, but... Pretty much completely dull now. This is another way you can do it. Just kind of saw it off of there at an angle. Just be careful. That works too. There you go. 20 minutes. Probably, I don't know, 10 pounds, 15 pounds in there. Maybe 15 pounds. So, I don't know. It's up to you if it's worth it. To me, it's it just depends on how I feel. Some days I'll send it insulated. Some days I'll strip it. So, appreciate you stopping by, and uh, I'll see you next time.